Hi, I'm Heidi Jacobson, and these are some of my ebooks. Hi. Beth boarded the plane carrying her bag in one hand and her cell phone in another. She was waiting for John's call. She knew today was her flight to New York. Just as she was sliding into her window seat, the phone rang. It was him. Hi, he said. Hey, I didn't think you were going to call me, she lied. Why? I don't know. I'm glad you did. I thought we broke up. I came back from Austin. You did? She was shocked. Yeah, I came back. I guess I didn't dig it out there too much. Too many cowboys, I guess. Wow. So you're on the plane, huh? Yeah, we're about to take off. Any cute guys next to you? No, just some old man eating an egg sandwich. Lucky you. Lucky him. Yeah, I'm just so fucking lucky. Tears started to roll down her cheeks. She blubbered into the phone. John, I'm so sorry for everything. She whispered into the phone. He was crying too at the other end. Yeah, me too. I feel like it's my fault. I really love you still. It's hard for me to deal with your problems, you know? Yeah, well, maybe you can come and visit me. Yeah. She says she speaks bourgeoisie, but I ain't heard it. Golf Widow. William jumped in his SUV and headed down south on I-95. It was a long trek down to Miami, but he wanted to go and check out the South Beach scene. He wanted to be reminded of Miami Vice and Scarface, of the days of bad boys and drug busts, the days when evil could be conquered. He was excited about the new series. Blue Moon had already debuted at the pilot's episode, and his character was gaining momentum in the show. The writers were writing more scenes for his character, Drake. Drake was a bad guy, a low-down, slying scumbag but the ladies loved him, so that was all that mattered. His character was also about to be married to Phoebe, a wealthy socialite who thought he owned a pharmaceutical company, when in fact he was a drug dealer. It was very dark. William wanted to get into the vibe of South Beach, savor the sectiness, and party a bit. He was bored at the house. He needed to get out. He drove through the guts of Miami and veered off at the Miami Beach exit, and parked on a side street. He hoped he would see some real-life characters to influence Drake. Noir. They moved to the reception in the starlight roof room. It was a grand old ballroom from 1931. Back in its day, it had been one of the most glamorous nightclubs in New York. Today, it was refurbished in white, with white curtain walls, white rose arrangements, and damask linen tablecloths. A pianist sat at the Steinway Baby Grand in the corner and played songs from Les Miserables. Jill was seated at a table with some of Ingrid's relatives. Kurt was up at the front with the wedding party. He sent her smiles and kisses. She was enjoying herself. Ingrid came by with a late arrival to the wedding. Hello, everyone. This is Thomas Spencer, New York's most eligible bachelor. He just arrived from Southampton. Jill looked up from her shrimp appetizer straight into a pair of chillingly, dazzlingly black eyes that knew no depths. She smiled and held out her hand. I'm Jill, the best man's wife. Nice to meet you. Likewise. The best man always has the best wife, naturally. He nodded and kissed her hand gently. Jill felt the soft. You can find my books on Amazon, Lulu, Barnes and Nobles, and Kobo Books. See you soon.